Please, the court here should be should work. I can't clearly refer the court to case number. I still proceed 37 20 24. <coughs> and we request to proceed placing evidence on record here. Thank you, Mr. McCormick. Please, the court here should. Today is the third year of October 2024, and this is a special ask for Mr. Strand's court to harness back. It is again published court number 10, case number S C 37 20 24. Presiding officer, Mr. Fender, prosecutor, Mr. Mukhabe. There's no need for interpreters, both accused are English conversant. Appearing in respect of accused number one, it is Mr. Smallsmith. In respect of accused two, it is Mr. Majab Yosha. May I proceed to address in the court? You should all know that on the last court appearance, uh, the matter was remanded to today for the outcome of representations made by accused number one, Yosha. It is placed on record, Your Worship, that the DPP's office received the reps in respect of uh, or escalated representations in respect of accused number one on the 19th of uh, September, Your Worship, 2024. I have been in constant communication with the DPP office in relation to the outcome thereof, Your Worship. I have been advised that uh, the decision has never been made, Your Worship, already as yet. And as a result, the state will then still be requesting for a remand for the outcome of representations in respect of accused number one. Yes. Both, both my colleagues would like to address the court. Yes. <coughs> Was any indication given to you by the DPP's office uh, of a timeline when they will make the decision? Yes, it indeed. In actual fact, both my colleagues and I have approached the custodian of Central Valley for a remand date. The agreed upon uh, date, your ship, obviously with the approval of this honorable court, is the 24th of uh, October, your ship. I suppose by that time the decision will have already been made, your ship. So the 24th of October is the suggested date with the approval of this honorable court. Obviously. Thank you, Mr. Smallsmith, for used one. Uh, Your Worship, thank you very much. Uh, Your Worship, we um, appear in front of Your Worship on the 21st of August, and we informed you that we handed in the representations uh, to the office of, um, uh, uh, of, of the Specialized Commercial Crime Court and the DCP on the 13th of August already and um, what then happened your worship was on the 20th of August we received a letter that um, that the senior at the specialized commercial crime court has turned has turned down the representations and um, we then uh, expected or hoped well, that the DPP will then uh, take the uh, representations over. Unfortunately, it wasn't as simple as that. Um, although, we served on, uh, although we served on him, we were told on the 10th of September that uh, he doesn't work like that and that he, he, he hasn't received it yet on the 10th, um, by the 10th of September. We then immediately on the 10th um, hand delivered it to him again and then we were informed and instructed to also deal with the reasons that was advanced by the head of the commercial uh, crime court as to why he uh, uh, refused the representations and that additional representations was handed in on the 19th of September so you wish it just on a timeline because you obviously have to make sure that the court uh, process and time isn't being wasted yet. Um, I've just indicated the timeline uh, and uh, I was informed yesterday that we can expect a decision um, within two weeks and we then uh, we then consulted the central diary and the first day that all of us are available, not two weeks but three weeks. So um, just for your worship to, to um, to be comfortable uh, to agree to a postponement. Uh, you wish if that was the timeline of the events. And um, and with that being said, we are available on the 24th of October. 
for the outcome of the uh, of the decision of the race by the DPP. Thank, Thank you, sir. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Smithsmith. Thank you, Mr. Majalvi. <coughs> Good morning, Your Worship. Firstly, Your Worship, I can confirm that I was party to the arrangements to have the matter postponed to the 24th of October 2024. With that out of the way, I just wish to recalibrate the court's thinking to my last address on the last occasion. Um, I have placed it firmly on record that the prejudice against my client mounts every day, especially taking into account that at that stage he had not been party to any interlocutories. However, we recognize that he is standing as a co-accused and we have to collegially accommodate our colleagues, but obviously I act on instructions. And I had indicated on the last occasion that if this interlocutories continue for longer than they have, I hold instructions to bring a substantive application for a separation of trials. I had indicated to your worship that I would be ready with that application or whatever our position would have been absent a timely decision by the DPP. In anticipation of my state of readiness, I personally reached out to the DPP to press him for a response one way or the other so that I could then advise my client properly and do all things necessary to protect his rights. I was then assured by the DPP that he is seized with the matter and he acknowledges the prejudice to which I was referring <coughs> and collegially he also confirmed to me that in any event he is going to be ready with a decision in two weeks. Recon from a few two days ago when I spoke to him. On that basis it became apparent that today the matter would have to be postponed for two weeks in any event. I was comforted and satisfied that it is fair and reasonable based on the discussions that we had. I then decided for good measure, regardless of what the outcome of those representations were, to submit representations on behalf of Mr. Corbyn, which is something that I had not done to date. I was not minded in that direction, I was not instructed in that direction. But having had a collegial discussion with the DPP, I then decided to do so. And I want the court to record that I submitted those submissions. I have shared them with everyone involved in this matter, except the court. Regardless of the outcome of my submissions on behalf of accused number one, we remain ready for the state to, to bring it on. I needed to place that on record. And with that understanding, we have no objection to the matter being postponed to the 24th being the date that is suitable to all of us. And the court was spot on to ask for timelines. The timelines that had been agreed upon between the DPP and all of us as practitioners would have been two weeks, but unfortunately the central there through us to three weeks, which will take care of the court's concern or my concern about any further inordinate delay. So instead of the DPP in two weeks that he asked for, he has three weeks. So we should be in a state of readiness to have a definitive answer on the next occasion. And on that occasion, depending on what the decision is, I would be in a better position to then say to the court, these are my instructions and this is what we want to do with the federal of this matter. For now, we ask the court to support the request for a, a postponement to the 24th and that uh, both our clients' uh, bail be extended as a court basis. Thank you, Mr. Mazzaro. When the court is ready, Joshua will be able to address the court. 
I'm listening. Yes, please, Court. Yes, Mr. Majavu has indicated in relation to their submission of representations on behalf of package number two. Indications are that uh, the said representations were forwarded to the state electronically as of this morning. Yes. I do not have access to my emails at this stage. I'm not certain or I will look if uh, such a representation is before that. I do not doubt for a second my letter colleague's indication of submission of their rights in respect of Act 2. Yes, but I've just been handed the hard copy instead of a soft copy. Secondly, your should will note that the representations, the hierarchy thereof, clearly indicates that they first go to the original head and thereafter to the DPP. However, in respect of acute to now, they have been submitted directly to the DPP. Although these are different institutions, different units of the same institution, I think that will then be attended to fully by the 24th, uh, the decision on that has been made. So although it has gone straight to the DPP's office, will they attend to it and hopefully not send it to the SCCC first for consideration? For consideration. Yes, there will be communication. Specifically, by myself and the regional head of the specialized commercial, uh, specialized commercial crime unit with the DPP or ship, so that they may, there cannot be any further delay in respect of uh, the one consideration and the final decision to be taken in respect of uh, the representations on both yeah, on behalf of both of these. Are you able to respond to the fact whether the representations by accused number two? will also, will you have sufficient time to consider and also have an outcome available by our next day? Yes, sir, but I should put my head on the block for that. Although I can just make some record, I have not yet communicated with the DPP in relation to that. Neither have I communicated with the regional head. But the chances are, or I will certainly say to it, that uh, because I am now being allocated the matter, I am safe with the matter. So I will make certain, I should, that by the next quarter period, which is the 24th, of October, a decision in respect of both actions, one and two in respect of uh, the other presentations would have been finalized by that time. Thank you, Mr. Mufti. Please accord you. Both actions are on bail. May their bail be kindly accepted. Your Worship, with your permission, if I may, just on the last issue raised. Give me a brief moment. Firstly, Your Worship, that is precisely one of the points that I raised sharply with the DPP to establish whether or not the internal hierarchy and bureaucracies are not going to result in a further delay of the matter. I was then informed by the DPP, an absolute gentleman whose word I trust, that I need to submit those representations contemporaneously which is why I first sent to Mr. Mohakade and a few minutes later I then sent to the DPP who indicated that he will take care of their own internal uh, bureaucracies which I am in no position to, to control. So we were allies to that very issue and in fact it was at his express request that we should follow suit. Now. I want to place it on record that with or without our representations, we are in a state of readiness. So if come the 20th, 24th, the outcome in respect of our reps on behalf of IQ's number two have not been finalized. We will not ask for a postponement to afford the state a further opportunity. They've had more than enough time. 
I'm prepared to stand or fall by a determination that would have been made or not made by the 24th. So I do not want a further delay to be attributed at our door simply because we submitted representations now. It was never our intention. It is simply something that collegially arose extra curial in our discussion with the DPP. So there will never be a delay caused by accused number two. I just thought the record should be very clear on that. And in fairness to Mr. Mohakade, I emailed him this morning and I've just handed him a hard copy. He's quite a senior colleague. I'm sure in three weeks he would have done what he's supposed to do and failing which then can be escalated. But we will manage that between us so that we don't <coughs> belabor the point uh, before the court on things that we should collegially manage as a court business. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. McKay, Mr. Cordwell. Your case postponed then until the 24th of October, back to this court, half past eight. I'm satisfied by the submissions by all parties that uh, this matter is not stagnating. It is moving along at a, at a reasonable pace. I'm uh, satisfied, therefore, to grant the remand at their joint request until the 24th of October, back to this court, half past eight, for the outcome of representations in respect of both accused one and two. Your mind is extended, same conditions as before. Thank you. There should be other matters to be attended to.